Hello everyone. So uh, I've been, I had kind of a hiatus. Um, I had some time to do a little self-reflecting and I actually took a immersive course in data science, which I just completed uh, a day or two ago. And uh, I finally have time to kind of like get back into, or even start my, um, my video uh, content creation thing. Uh, so that's what I'm doing today. So I thought today would be kind of cool to work on a, a more realistic coding uh, problem that you might see in a technical interview. That's something that I'm definitely going to want to have some practice in on. Uh, so that's what we're doing now. I'm on codewars.com and I'm just going to pick up uh, one of these kata, one of these problems. Uh, I've been working with Python recently, so I think I'll be working uh, with some kind of Python problem, but I'm sure it's it translates to pretty much any um, any other language usually. So uh, let's let's look at Python today. I'm just gonna pick one of these uh, that pop up. I don't really know how. To, I don't really care too much about like the difficulty really because it's all it's all kind of difficult. <laughs> it's all it's all difficult for me right now. So uh, let's check this one out. I I already did the paper fold one, so let's not do that one. Going to the sma. Okay, this one looks like it's uh, interesting. Let's check it out. Uh, and if it doesn't look like it's um, uh, interesting, I'm, I might just skip it. Well, I might go to another one, but let's see. Uh, my friend John likes to go to the cinema. He chooses between system A and system B. Hmm. System A, you buy a ticket for $15 every time. Or system B, you buy a card, $500. And every time you buy a ticket, the price goes down uh, 90 times the price he paid before. For example, math. Okay, cool. No rounding for each ticket. So it's the raw number. As if you can pay, you know, fractions of, fractions of a penny, apparently. John wants to know how many times he must go to the cinema so that the final result of system B, when rounded up to the next dollar, will be cheaper than system A. The function movie has three parameters. Card, the price of the card, Ticket, the normal price of the ticket, uh, a ticket, and perk, the fraction of what he paid for the previous ticket, and returns the first n such that the ceiling of the price of system B is greater than the price of system A. Okay, <laughs> that's a mouthful. For example, math. Okay, cool. So uh, this sounds not too bad, I guess. Uh, I will definitely. Oh, I actually kind of like to have the math here because um, it kind of shows you that it's the previous price times uh, the, the percentage percentage. So uh, I will try, I, I could try this one. Let's, tr let's try it out. Let's see. Let's do some math, guys. Let's do some accounting. Okay, coolios. So $15, buy a card, and every time you buy a ticket, the price The ticket price. Okay, hold on. So, oh, oh, I see. So wait, you pay five hundred dollars up up front just to be in System B, and then you still pay for your ticket. Except now the the ticket price goes down. Okay, so we all understand that eventually the um, System B should win out over time. I'm just curious if any of this stuff can be like negative or some kind of weird stuff here. It doesn't look like it is. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that in good faith that everything is. Um, proper with the numbers and how how math works. You're not gonna have like a negative ticket price, for example. Um, okay, cool. So let me just set up my logic here. So this is gonna be system. So this. So I'm going to first. Um, I should be looping through and keeping track of um, some variables. So this is like t uh, ticket number num. So ticket num. So uh, each ticket. Um, you're eventually going to keep uh, getting a number of tickets until you get to the point that B crosses A. So that's what that is. Um, so I'm going to do a while loop. I think that should be okay. Again, if the math is um, the way it should be, then nothing funky should be happening. And so the while loop should be okay and, and not too crazy. So while loop while um, system sys A is better than sys B. Uh, keep doing the loop basically. Okay, I have to make sure to iter ticket num at the bottom there. Okay, cool. All right, 
and then so while I'm doing this, I'm just basically doing the sys A math and then sys B math. And I think that's kind of it. Um, maybe I'm forgetting something, but that is, that should be it, I think. Yeah, let's do this, let's do it, all right. Um, and I should return ticket number. So they should return the number of yeah okay the number of tickets it took okay so the first one is zero it should be wait zero is zero possible can you imagine a situation where eh, I guess I'm being too nuanced yeah it's it's fine like zero should be nothing right okay that that should be fine um five hundred so. I think the way I want to do it is for efficiency. I don't want to add more math. Like I don't want to add up a ton of math stuff going on. So I'm going to keep track of sys a, which is straightforward. It's literally the number. So right now it's zero. And this is going to be just the ticket price plus the next, the last ticket price. Sys b is going to also start out with 500 actually because you're going to just add on to that. It has a base of 500. And I'm going to need to keep track of sysb previous number, um, which I suppose should be fifth ticket price, whatever ticket price is. All right, so it's going to be that. And then you do a times the percentage to get to reset what the previous is. Um, and I think that should be okay. I think it looks okay for now. Okay, while loop. So while they actually give us a little code, I think here at the bottom here. Yeah, seal. So you can get the seal. So I'm going to import math because I am very very lazy with my sealing. Um, import math. Moath. <laughs> uh, import math. All right. Uh, math. Dot seal. I think it is seal. Seal spelled like that. Um, sys b. Uh, is less than sys a. Okay, so while, oh wait, no, no, it's the other way around. So it's, it, the while loop is continuing. So while b is bigger than a, we you keep going until eventually it swaps. So I'm gonna say an equal sign even, because we want it to be greater. Cool, um, and then we do the math for sys a, which is pretty straightforward. Actually, I'm gonna. I forgot to do this. This is like, you can see everything. Um, okay, so sys a is look just you add the ticket price to the previous amount. So that's pretty straightforward. I'm actually gonna cut some of this uh, pseudo code because we don't really need it at this point. Um, and this needs to be indented. My goodness, indentation is a thing in Python. Um, okay, sys b math is a little bit more complicated, but not by too much. Uh, and apparently, I need it. Iterate on ticket num. So I do that before I forget. Okay. So system b math. You are sys b. Um, I think I want to do sys b previous because it's going to be times the perk. And then sys b is literally just plus the sys b previous. Is that right? That sounds right. Okay. Um, I think this is okay. I think this is okay. So I'm gonna like just run with it and see what happens. It would be amazing if this just works. Oh my god, if it just works. Ah, it doesn't just work. Okay, cool. Um, 69 should equal 24. So I got 69, but it should not have done that. So I think maybe it has to do with maybe this part. I'm curious what the underlying thing is, but I'm glad that we got to this. This, this it some something is working. <laughs> so one thing is working. Uh, perfect. So where can I be screwing up here? The math seal. I'm not sealing on anything else, right? So if you start out with a hundred, take a price of fifteen ninety-five. So I'm getting sixty-nine. So it's continuously going. So this case is not true. Which means I'm doing math wrong somewhere. 
And I think it has to do with system. Uh, I'm sure it's system B that it's doing it. Uh, so multiple percentage. Yeah. No running for each ticket. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. I think that's what I'm doing actually. So the 500, I'm adding sysb plus 500. So it's 500 plus 15. Oh, I know. Ah, the first time needs to be the ticket. Oh, wait, no, I have it here. The ticket. Huh. First price is the ticket, and then you do times perk, set it there, and then you add that. I think I'm doing it right. For that one anyway. Final zero. So it's it's gotta be it's gotta be the, the this this something with the logic here. So if I don't put equal, but that wouldn't make the difference of like forty sixty nine versus twenty four, right? Why are you going so much further? Get plus one. Mm -hmm. uh, if I get, if I kill this, what happens? I feel like it's not going to be much different. It's going to be like sixty nine. Yeah. Oh, well, interesting. Interesting. That doesn't change at all. Um, is this math wrong? Should I do this math right now? I don't want to. <laughs> so sixty nine. So it's a returning ticket number. So let me uh, just do a little print statement. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with um, what I'm seeing otherwise, but let's let's run it. Cross our fingers. See, so that's the first one, which is wait, what? The first one failed. Well, the first one passed. Okay, and that's what I saw. okay. So what I'm noticing is the increase. Well, that makes sense. So over time, the increase for B is small, whereas the increase for A is um, the same. Server send a request. Please try again. Uh, what happened? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Six ninety. Okay, so it got down to the point that it wasn't adding much. Each ticket for B wasn't adding much. That makes sense though. So why after 24? So 24 is literally 240 then here. How after 240? Oh wait, I hard coded this. This is my mistake right here. The 500. That was not. That's the card. So that's what I made a mistake. Aha! <laughs> oh, I am so silly sometimes. Uh, I don't need the print statements anymore. Okay, so uh, found my mistake and. I think I could attempt this. Um, before I attempt, can I make this more efficient? I feel like everything is here. I guess I could reuse, in terms of efficiency, I could reuse this variable as the as itself, so for in place of system B, basically. So I'm just gonna keep card. I want to keep the word card for system B. So it's card plus that, and this is going to be card. Okay. <laughs> Minor efficiency achieved. Yes. Um, ticket num, I think that's fine. System A is... Um, ticket equals ticket plus ticket, I guess. <laughs> uh, but no, you... Yeah, actually, that would work. That's the only time I see ticket, right? Yeah. Okay. So I don't need system A even. System A is ticket. This is going to look weird, by the way, and I understand that. Um, and. Huh. Oh, actually, yeah. Um, the previous ticket price. 
So, never mind that. Okay, uh, I think it's just, this is fine. Uh, I don't need to be like super efficient with this. I just want it to work. So, it works. Let's attempt it. Oh my goodness, if this works, I have completed a kata. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, so th these look like some edge cases, though. This is zero. Random. Log random tests with nothing, okay? So I think this is a situation of the equal sign here. I think that was um, something that I was missing. I, I, I took out just to test it, but it really should be, it should be in there. Okay, that's what I, see, see what I'm talking about? Bam! Dunzo, yo. Yeah. Uh, let's look at some people, some other people's, um, it, uh, their interpretation of this problem. I think this is definitely something that could, uh, if you have a better understanding of the underlying uh, logic and maybe some like econ people know how to do this on map. Um, there I'm sure are better ways of doing this, but I think what I had was pretty nice and like explicit. I like being explicit too. That's uh, usually better. Uh, let's look at this. So this is num. Uh, so same idea. Seal. Yep. This looks. This looks like what I had. Um, this person did not. Uh, work times number. Times ticket times percentage. So this is interesting. The person did not actually keep a running tally of the previous um, value, which is interesting. So how do you do that? You do ticket times percentage. Oh, to oh that makes sense. So this is actually this is like what um, I I uh, kind of skipped in my head here that you could just take the percentage and do it to the root, the square, the square of whatever current number you're on, uh, and that will do the percentage times itself that number of times uh, to get that that uh, iteration of uh, percentage. So that makes sense. That's actually um, better. That's a better uh, iteration. Holy moly, look at this thing. System A, accumulate. Count In count one? What? It seems like excessive. <laughs> Other, more than one person did this, though. Iter tools? Man, this is like some... The tools, uh, the underlying tools in Python, that's something I definitely could use some, um, some work in. Like this understanding of like iter tools and like math. I, I knew I knew math like had the ceiling and that's okay to use, but some of this stuff is definitely more advanced than what I'm used to. N for N in count one. That seems like count one doesn't seem like it's very useful, <laughs> but I don't know what count is doing. So, what are you doing? Mm, whoa! Look at this, super efficient. Return next, next. Uh, this is an iterator. Oh, this is a, a, a generator or something. Next. That looks so funky. Oh, man. Well, anyway, I felt like I did a, a decent enough job. I'm happy with what, with I, what I did. Um, and hopefully next time I'll have maybe a bit more complex um, of a problem. But this is what I had time for today. I uh, hope this has been somewhat uh, enlightening and useful. Maybe you learned something. Maybe you can teach me something. I definitely have a lot to learn. Um, but hopefully I'll be having some also some time to actually do more of these videos as well. So I uh, hope this has been enjoyable. And uh, I'll see you around next time.